Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Earth New HJ, and welcome to my channel. And for today, I'm reacting to the You season four little mini trailer thing they've done. Now, if you've never watched You before, it's on Netflix, there's been three seasons of it. It's hard to explain what it is without really giving things away. Um, but if you look it up and it's your thing, you know what it's about. Um, basically, it's about a guy called Joe. In the first season, he becomes obsessed with this girl that owns a bookstore and thinks they're meant to be together and blah 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 and then he's kind of a bit cuckoo um but I'll leave it there um because I don't want to spoil it if you've not seen it because it's one of those shows that is hard to give away without spoiling it so it's one of those things that you have to watch um but for all those of you that have seen the latest three seasons we've been waiting for season four because season three was amazing um, I loved season one, season two kind of dipped for me and then season three brought it right back up for me and I've been so excited for season four and I just went on my Instagram and I saw this and I thought I can't not react to this because again anything for another YouTube video from you guys and yeah so it's only 1 minute 34 I it says date announcement so I'm hoping they've done a cool little video like they did for season three when they announced the date for that um, so I'm hoping it doesn't really give any way about season four yet and we get an actual proper trailer for it soon. Um, but oh, hopefully it's not long. It probably will be next year knowing our luck. But at least that's not too long away now actually, holy crap. So here we go. He's got a beard now. Can we just talk about how they always make these psychopathic people the cast attractive actors which is kind of bad when you think about it in a way like when they cast like Efron as Ted Bundy and now Evan Peters as Jeffrey Dahmer it's like I know some people won't find them attractive but most people generally do and it's quite weird that then you find these characters attractive because someone you fancy is playing them for me it's like Hannibal Lecter like the series of it because Mads makes him play Hannibal and I think he's gorgeous and I'm like I was like oh so you're in love with Hannibal Lecter and I'm like well no I like the actor but like when you think about it you're like damn it does mean I like Hannibal so it's always weird but he just looks so good even with that beard as well allow me to introduce myself I've gone through a bit of refinement upon crossing the pond and living in London has allowed me to bury the past if you will Oh. oh yeah, she's back! Well, this time I'm, I'm focusing on academia and instruction mm -hmm. while keeping my typical extracurricular activities strictly professional. Oh, sure. Like, that's worked. I'm trying to exchange ideas with yes. like-minded colleagues. Okay. Unfortunately, with friends in high places, mm -hmm. they usually come others attempting to climb that social ladder. Okay. So they end up falling Same forward. Same as Sophie. Shall I say pushed? Well, this is, it's a, this is kind of cool because it's introducing the, the characters we know before and now it's interesting new people and we're thinking right who are they going to be him like keeping his probies in that professional <laughs> Joe we know you we know you you're a weirdo <laughs> he's definitely gonna go after one of them which one we don't know he's now living in London last time we saw him he was in spoiler alert for the end of season three Just skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to hear last time we saw him he was in Paris and he's living in, living in London so there might be a time jump here because he didn't look like that in the finale, that like he didn't have the beard and everything. So now he's living in London, he's taking time to adjust. Maybe there's been a time jump. Tom, Gemma. Getting a sense of all of them, who they are. Oh, we're getting in the next date. Hang on. Coming soon, you buggers! Oh, I knew it. They knew it. I 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 wanted there to be a freaking coming soon. That's probably going to be next year, knowing our luck. Well, we've still got October, November, and December to go, so maybe mid-November. Give us something to look forward to, but 
Mm. Saying all that stuff, Joe, we know who you are, we know what you're about, we know what you do. Oh, so it looks like the characters look very interesting. Obviously, you've got the guys who like to party, the girls who love themselves, the ones who are higher up, the ones who are a bit mysterious. I'm excited, to say the least, just because the way they left season three, I was like, Whoa. so what do you guys think? Are you annoyed as me that we didn't get an announcement date? But that is pretty cool. I probably will go back and watch it again so I can get another vibe and feel of it. Um, but no, what do you guys think? Are you excited for you season four? Have you watched one to three? If you have, let me know in the comments below which is your favourite. Um, personally, mine was three. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you are planning to watch season four and what you think might happen in it. Um, but if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more reaction content like this, since that seems to be what I'm going for nowadays, um, please hit the subscribe button. And again, I want to thank everyone who's subscribed and liked my videos. I've gained a few more subscribers, which is always lovely. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in another video. Bye.